that was a bad example. Let's say smoking cigarettes, okay? So if I smoke now, by the way, I can smoke now, nothing's gonna happen. Like, I'm not gonna die. You understand? Like, I can, we can have smoke now after this. Nothing's gonna happen. Like, I'll be the same person. But simple little disciplines, you repeat every single day, you fast forward five years from now, like what you're saying, five years from now, that you're gonna reap the, the outcome, good or bad, right? You mentioned about exercising. Okay, whether today you exercise or not, nothing, you'll be the same, nothing happens. But that simple errors of judgment, repeated over time, right? Either people die of heart attack and obese, or you're gonna see your eight years old graduate getting married, having grandkids and stuff, it's from the simple little discipline. And there's a lot of uh, <laughs> typhoon warning Maria. Where, where is she? Oh. There. oh yeah, Maria here. I asked her, hey, what is typhoon? She says, don't worry, you'll see. <laughs> I'm like that. I don't want to see anything <laughs> that looks like that. So, but this morning it's a beautiful yeah. day, right? Yeah. So, the sun came out. Yeah, I just walk a little bit. I just walk a little bit to, <laughs> what's the name of that beach there? Shoreline. Shoreline Beach. <laughs> I was just literally five minutes. I came back. I can wait, it's all sweaty. <laughs> it's really hot outside, but here yeah. it's really nice and cool. It's calmer. It's calmer. This, yeah. It's supposed to be like this, now. Huh? Yeah. Yes, that's, that's oh, normal. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. So Carl, Carl, is, Carl is watching, and Carl actually called me this morning, because this morning I posted on the oh, page yeah. saying that, hey, there's this typhoon warning, and then next week I'm going to Bali, and there's a volcano warning. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> so, so Carl called me. Carl called me this morning, and he was asking, he was saying, hey, I'm, I'm so glad I don't go with you. <laughs> but, hey man, there was no real time when there was just a, a warning. But, uh, but I, think, I think we'll be okay. You guys live here. Yeah. Yesterday yeah. I was like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be here. And then, <laughs> and then I'm thinking, wait a minute, you live here. So it should, that, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Life goes on, right? So it's beautiful. If you've never been to Philippines, uh, we sh you should. In fact, we are thinking we're, we're doing our titanium conference. We should be doing it uh, at least once a year, maybe next year, uh, Carl. Yeah. 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 Carl is a very adventurous guy. He yeah, just don't want, here, Carl. He, <laughs> he just don't like to go to places with volcano or typhoon, <laughs> earthquake. I told him, look, in Philippines you got everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Let's do, so in LA, every three months in our office, every three months we have three days training. So on the three days training, basically we talk about, so the inside sales team, the outside sales team, and the TC, everybody there for the whole three days. So that way everybody knows what the others are doing. Now, obviously you guys are a little bit Behind. disconnected, right? But that's fine, right? You, you, you did a good job already booking the appointments, but it's just that if you know the whole picture, it will be helpful a little bit. So I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we do. See the difference between the how to so there's a how to trainings every day and then once a year we do goal setting session and stuff right so this today what you're gonna replicate is only the goal setting session right so that way uh, it's gonna help you on your personal life and stuff but then if you have question like yesterday I was talking to James right if you have question on the how to then obviously uh, you ask anytime and you know what success is is called modeling right modeling means you see somebody else who have done it. We just replicate that. Today in 2017, there is no need to recreate every, everything you want. You want to lose weight, you want to you know, have a healthy marriage, healthy, healthy, happy, everything you want. It's already, somebody else already done it. You know, so we don't need to replicate. So in our team, we call it modeling. 
modeling the behavior and that's what we call for recruiting when we bring on our outside sales team that's what they're saying you just have to duplicate our system that's it you don't need to recreate you don't need to recreate the wheel mm -hmm. right and before we start do you guys know what we are doing like what's the purpose like, what's the end goal what are we trying to achieve what are we trying to accomplish what's the currency what's most important in our team how do we measure the success in fact can somebody uh i don't know who's more diligent uh, i don't know maybe you uh chris right can you take notes because there's something because like now for example i want you to include i want to yeah. this is more for me actually my, my things to do because i'm thinking right now we have this incentive trip only for the outside sales team so i'm thinking we should do the same thing here too you know we, uh, so just put a note in uh have some sort of trip to join you for you to join our uh our, our team in la so for example this year we're going to bali and then next year we're gonna go to ice no what is that alaska, uh, alaska, alaska. and stuff like that right so so but the question is how do we measure the success how do we know who qualifies for those kind of trip what do you think what's important in our team what's the measurement of success how do i know one person is better than the others remember that's how you book the appointments right every time you want to book the appointments you always asked who is the best person so when you talk to me the lead on the phone how do we determine who to book the appointment to we ask ourselves who is the best person that's able to service this client now the same thing with us on the on this thing at the end of the year at the end of the month at the end of the three months we how do we measure our performance what's the metric what do you think our core values, but how do we measure that? Amount of sales. Amount of sales. Numbers. 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 Numbers what? Number of conversions. Yeah, so that's that's where a little bit. Uh, so that's Fanny. Uh, obviously, uh, Fanny will always talk to you as far as the numbers, right, and stuff like that, which is good. But our our true measurement of success is the number of reviews. Oh. Uh, we call it the three R's in our team. So the three R's is basically the number of reviews, referrals, and repeat clients. Meaning, how many people, how do we know we do a good job if the person send us the reviews? Referrals, repeat clients. Now, before we do that, who is your customer? Who is your, who, from you meaning are from the inside sales team perspective, who's our customer? Okay, think about it again. Anyone. <laughs> Who is our customers? Who are we serving? Serving. Ourselves. Who is our customers? You. <laughs> Who is our customer? Think about it. How do you know that you are doing? How do you get the reviews from? How do you measure? The buyer sellers. The buyer sellers. Who is the client? That's the question. Anyone who's interested. Think about it. The agent. The agent. Right? Think about it. The agent. The OSA? The OSA. Oh, right? that's you mean the ISA. The our customers, okay. so from the staff perspective in the office, when we do our staff, we as a staff team members in the team, who are who's our customer? Is the agent. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Selling partner. Yes. yes. My selling partner. How do we get the reviews? How do we know we are doing a good job? The reviews come from the agent. Right? Obviously, the end buyers and sellers, but then it's kind of hard to measure that because at the end of the day, the end buyers and sellers is gonna meet face to face with with the OSA. By that time, they'll forget about you already. You know, even if you're so good over the phone, once they show up, they show up. But then, so the reviews from, so we need to know who who are we serving. But you kind of do you you kind of already subconsciously kind of doing it. Right, you you already know. Okay, I'm booking these two agents and stuff like that. We are working, so so internally, the same way the OSA, the ISA, we, we are looking at each other and say, okay, who am I serving? Like for me, who am I working for? Right, I'm working for you. What does it mean? Like I'm serving because if I I'm empowering you, I'm, I'm I'm serving you, so you can be better. Right now in our team, we have more than six hundred seventy reviews. <laughs> if you go to online now, that's the highest. Yeah. Same thing. Think about it. If you work for reviews, I work. Imagine what if you pay your bills? What if you, Chris? What if you pay? Like yesterday, we went to your house, right? What if you pay your monthly payments not with pesos, but you pay it with reviews? 
how would you treat how would you behave how would you how would you think how would you behave how would you speak on the phone what's your work ethics look like then, uh, when you talk about what if there is the OSA is not updating the calendar and stuff like that they are not just the about it's not about me you know what I mean I'm not so the way our team is set up there is no manager I'm not the one who's doing that so every department there is a team leader the I the inside sales team leaders the 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 the, the the, the Ronnie who's running the sales and stuff, then I need to cause what that kind of behavior is risking who? Risking everybody, right? You are not working for refuse by doing that. So you can remind the person. So you so they say, first you attack if there's behavior, you approach that person individually. Hey, remember we are working for the refuse. What you are doing, you are putting everybody at risk, right? So now it become a self-policing uh, unit. I'm not a police yet, you know what I mean? Buying or selling, he has to call. Call people randomly. Call people randomly. Mm -hmm. What we are doing, these people are calling us. Because we are returning a phone. They're already interested. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, close. If the customer come here and the customer have to walk away, then now we have problem. Something wrong. Same thing with our customer. That's why we don't want to put too much emphasis on the closing because it's kind of demon. Mm -hmm. If you don't close, it's like you go to a hotel, the customer walk all the way here, go to the front desk, want to check in. Somehow you say something that triggers them to walk away. Right. What did you say? Once you get the refuse, so once you close, you follow up. That's, this is the job of customers. Eventually, we're going to have our own customer service department, but for now, you kind of have to do both. Because when you're doing the inside sales team, when you book the appointments, if you don't do the follow-up calls to make sure the agent actually showing them homes, you know all those work follow-up that all you do is means nothing yeah. because that thing will close. Yeah. What does buyers want? Home. Buyers wants homes. Buyers wants homes. So the moment the agents don't show homes, that's right. it. We're just wasting time. All those things that you do, some of you follow up for two years, it's wasting time. Nothing's gonna happen. You're gonna walk away. They're gonna go with somebody else. Then you might as well not doing the call. But what's the point in doing the follow up just to be like that? Right? Mm -hmm. So we gotta do the follow up call. Check follow up, meaning once they are attached to our OSA, we need to randomly do a, we call it the customer service call, the autopsy call. Like we ask, we only ask one question Mr. Byers, you met with uh, one of our finest agents, John, yesterday, two, uh, two weeks ago, I mean last week. Have John show you home? Have we shown you home? No. No. You you talk about all kind of stuff, but not one show me home. Then we have problem. Then what do we do at that time? We reroute that appointment. We we make the same buyer's offer. Say, so would you be interested to have access to a list of homes, including homes that you cannot see on the internet? You booked it to somebody else. And then you have a one, then you send an email to that person directly, and you CC Margaret and Penny, they say, hey, this is what happened. We reroute it to somebody else. And then Margaret is gonna meet with this person one on one. Maybe Margaret is gonna call you just to check uh, what happened, and then they're gonna uh, do one on one with that. We can get it. So tomorrow, when you fly back on the plane, you actually have something. Have a return about. plan, yeah, and your family you actually prepare. Right? Mm. Okay, good. Let's go to page number forty-seven. Okay, let's fill up page forty-seven. Complete page forty-seven.